what's good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video and i got a special treat for y'all today so today's video is going to be about the apex settings that will help you laser people technically so these apex settings aka mines or a little small definition where i'll briefly go through with you is going to help you with your aim a lot okay so first things first what you want to do is pick up the r99 because one r99 is one of the top games to use in this game so why not even use it but plus since this gun has a faster fire rate it will help out with your aiming so what you want to do is get a purple mag with the r99 and just start a whole bunch of ammo okay so let's get let's get into the settings real quick so first things first when you go to your settings and control trigger dead zone first thing you want to do is have it on none the reason why it determines how sensitive your triggers are when you press them so the lightly you press it the faster it shoots basically the sensitivity of the reaction time of when to shoot so if you want to if you're in a 1v1 situation you want to have this on none because if you press on the trigger faster your guy will shoot before so the next thing we want to go to is advanced look control so you want to click on that and turn it on so we're going to start out with the first one which is dead zone so this is the sensitivity for your analog stick determines how quick it will respond the way you move it so what i do is i have mine on one two i have it on two ticks and you can have it on one you can have it on three or two but the one thing you do want to pay attention with this is the stick drift if you don't know what a stick drift is, I'm going to not touch my remote and you'll see it moving by itself. So if you are having a stick drift issue, the best option that you have is to raise up the dead zone. But I have this stick drift because I am still used to it. I am, I've been playing it with so long before I even found out about these settings that I got used to it. And if I were to raise up my dead zone, I, it just messes up my aim just because I've been playing with it for so long but I do recommend it if you don't have this issue go feel free to do it outer threshold I don't touch response curve I lowered it down just because I don't know to be honest like it says here the lower the value it can feel twitchy the higher the value it can feel though for some reason a little bit more lower than the default what it had for me felt more smooth for me so I just stuck with it now this is what we all came here for, the yaw speed. So the yaw speed is basically the sensitivity without aiming looking left to right. So this, left to right, this is the sensitivity that it has, the yaw speed. So for me, I have mine very high. One, it helps you out. It helps you maneuver through situation as in if you're getting shot from a distance, you can start sprinting and zigzag and it helps out a lot. So I have mine very high, but if you used to play very low if you want to raise it up the best way to raise up your sensitivity if you're not used to it raise it up little by little and just start playing with it little by little little by little little by little and you'll get used to it for the pitch speed i have mines always halfway so this is the sensitivity without aiming looking up and down so the reason i have it halfway because if i were to raise it all the way up matching my yaw speed I'll go crazy. I'll go all over the place looking up and down. And plus, are you? if you think about it, there's rarely in a situation where you need to snap on somebody up and down. That rarely happens when you play. So halfway for me is perfect. So the turning extra yaw, turning extra pitch, turning ramp up time, turning ramp delay, I have those all the way off. Okay, so the ADS yaw speed. So this is the sensitivity while aiming looking left to right. So the reason I have my very low is because I am very used to it. I can turn very fast, but my sensitivity while aiming, see how, you see the difference that it makes? Look how fast I'm moving left to right. And then while I aim, very slow. So the reason I have it very slower is because it helps me out with long range fights. I feel like I can control my aim a lot more better with it being slower. But remember, this is all preference. Everyone has their own different preference, but this is mine. If you want to use it, feel free. Go ahead. So the ADS pitch speed, same thing. Always have it halfway. 
to the last floor because there's no situation where i'm gonna shoot here the guy on the floor i see somebody on the roof and i go like this those are free shots that dude's gonna take same thing ads turning extra yard extra pitch ramp up time and ramp up delay i turn them all off and this you don't want to touch and if it's off turn them on target compensation is your aim assist in this game so you always want to have that on and melee target composition is the target is the aim assist for but for the melee attacks so you always want to make sure those two are on but yeah guys these are my settings for apex legends if you guys want to use them go ahead feel free to test it out see if it fits you hopefully it helps you out a lot because these settings for me i find it perfect but remember if it doesn't help you out these are also my settings everyone's different so take some time off take 10 15 minutes of your time go to firing range and just adjust your settings also note if you do play on my settings or change your settings it won't turn you into an extreme pro player that you see on youtube right away remember these new settings are new to you so you aren't used to them so the best thing to do is practice with the new settings play every day play every day take some time firing range get used to the new settings so when you go on pause or when you do rank you're gonna start lasering kids all right guys one more tip that i want to show you to help practice your aiming so much this is what i do every single day for 10 to 15 minutes i if you want to practice your aiming and get it better i recommend doing this because it helped me out so much so you want to do is get an r99 purple mag get a golden backpack and pick up as much ammo as you can because we're going to need it once you've required all of that you will head right behind these grenades right here where this dirt is this is where you want to stay you're going to shoot and focus on this target and this target the reason why back here a real fight you're gonna shoot most likely you're gonna encounter somebody at this range if you see them so you're gonna practice your aim and also one more thing while you're shooting strafe practice your strafing because strafing helps you out so much in a one one so once you waste one clip on this dude spend the other clip on this moving target it's more further it's moving so it helps you out control your aiming the reason why you don't want to shoot at this target is because this target is a lot more bigger, it has a massive more hitbox, and it's standing still. And that's an easy 200 damage right there, but nobody's going to have that massive hitbox who's going to be standing still like that, other than the crypto. So you want to practice on this target, reload, practice on this target, reload, then practice on this same target reload you want to do that back and forth and oh remember always strafe strafe is always helps you out and one more tip also to help out crouch while shooting crouch when you're in a 1v1 let's say medium to long range crouching helps you out a lot because most of the time they're aiming for your chest and your head so if you're crouching it throws them off they have to readjust and aim down and the minute you crouch back up, they got to readjust and aim up. So doing that mid-fight is going to help you out a lot. It's something not to do right away because it's a little bit... When you do it right away without doing it before, it throws you off. So I do recommend practicing it. Alright guys, these are my settings for April. If this video helped you out, smash that like button. Comment down below, what is your favorite weapon to use during the game? If you guys want to see more content, more challenges that I will be doing, subscribe, bro. It's free. Join the dynasty. And hit the subscribe button. Let's share it to your friends. One more thing. I will also be doing a giveaway. Keep your eyes open for that because the video will be more information will be coming tomorrow. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.